Hi there. I'm the author. I am Mr. Kent Brindley. Welcome to Ask the Author Friday. This is going to be a fun time this week one more time. Um, for those who don't know, I'm a uh, self-published fiction author from Southwest Michigan. I'm a uh, South Haven Ram, Grand Valley State Laker, and somewhere in between I was an LMC, Lake Michigan College. At, for historical accuracy, they were the Indians. Nowadays, I think they're the Red Hawks, as far as I know. Anywho. Ask the Author Friday is my opportunity for a fireside chat with you guys, my fans, friends, and family. If you like this content, feel free to subscribe. If you want to participate in this content, you can feel free to leave a, to leave a question in the comment section. I'll try to get back to it in future weeks. Here we go. Let's do this. Rereading old books. Rereading old books. It's like revisiting an old friend. And often you pick up material from rereading a book that you didn't pick up the first time. And it's like learning something new about an old friend. There's nothing wrong with that. Next question. That was a good question, by the way. Yeah, I, I like that one. What is a personal pet peeve? Yours. Personal pet peeve. Um... Probably irate entitlement. Um, it's here's the thing. My day job is as a locker room attendant. My seasonal night work is as a bus boy. I deal with a lot of irate entitlement. I have seen my friends and co-workers deal with a lot of irate entitlement, and that's worse. You can say what you want about me when you start um, <clears throat> when you start unfairly and unnecessarily cutting down my co-workers and my friends. We have a problem here. My co-workers and my friends are the people I fall back on and who who I lean on when I get in trouble when I could get in trouble or get in too deep at work. So you start so you start unfairly complaining about them. You've got a problem with me. That's the bottom line right there. Next question. Brandon. All it says is Brandon was here. Brandon, he won one race a couple of years ago, and people really wanted to celebrate this Brandon guy. He, he's he's a race car driver who won who won a race. I mean, he, why so salty? 
Or are all of the people so upset about Brandon winning a race car race now? Are they all Jeff Gordon fans? Or oh, oh, that Brandon, that Brandon. Okay. Um. Well, at this point, at this point, I think everyone's opinion of Brandon is pretty well established. I think that the public perception of Brandon is pretty well established at this point. Sure would hate to hit a man when he's down. Next question. says Velma. All it says is Velma. I was always more of a Daphne guy. Um, heck, I was I was all for Josie and Melody before it was for Velma. Oh, oh, that Velma. Okay. Um, not an HBO Max subscriber, and my idea of even of even watching Scooby is to to rewatch the originals that I watched when I was little. Relive that. So let's just say Velma wasn't necessarily made for me in the first place. No, it it was made as more of a slap in the face to the to the original fans. That's all I'll say. Next question. Shaven or unshaven? Well, well, <clears throat> shaven or unshaven? I guess that question was for you guys, not for me. Um, I can see the benefits of having a clean face once in a great while. Trying something new. Anyway, this has been Ask the Author Friday. I'm Kent Brindley. If you guys have any questions for next week, feel free to submit them to the comments. I'll try to get around to them. If you're enjoying this content, feel free to subscribe. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your patronage. And I um, hope to deliver more of the content that, that you want to see here in the new year. Peace.